All right, hi, right, buddy. It's it's uh, seven and five. Salut, va. Privet. Privet, comrade. <laughs> it's 9.22 p.m. Eastern Time, Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, on the 7th of June, 2019. Try as they might, they can't hide the delight as they try to pump fear and fright as the beauty and wonder of the truth Delights the sky in Cincinnati tonight. Hey, hey, my brothers and sisters, do you feel me? Because we got some real of the sky tonight. Boy, I rebuke the convergence, Neg, and I thank you. Thank you, Yeshua, for what was revealed to me today by... <laughs> By Lord Enki, you know? Lord Enki told me, folks, he said, Jesus is your God, because we're not gods. <laughs> but he is my liege lord. Enki is the sign from the other day. Like big fat fingers of, of a, I would say, 11 foot tall, maybe 10 foot tall being that got hot and burned. E-N. K-I, and an old Hebrew-looking seven into a street sign on a random street at a property that I was working at for the first time in over a year. Well, actually, technically, since last fall, when I helped do the leaves there, what is that? You know, and I love it because it was very clear. You know, just like the Lost Book of Enki, the Anunnaki are very clear with me, as are the birds. You know, they don't want to replace God. They, I mean, it's one of the reasons why the Lost Book of Enki got Mandela wiped in front of all of us as I went live with it again. The Anunnaki speak in more wonder of the great galactic father creator than we ever could. They have no idea who he is. Or what he is they are in wonderment as are we and Enki told me Yeshua is directly a son of God and we would like to know more about him because they're they really dig the forgiveness factor they do you know, that's something that the Mandela effect will never be able to wipe. And believe me, if it could, it would. Look at that. A massive red glow with an orange ball dead in the middle of the screen with a blue something of so much beauty that I can't believe that I have the privilege of even filming it. Okay. They started biting? They start biting. Wow. They wow. I mean, look how there looks like there's Egyptian hieroglyphics and faces up there. There are. Desvidanya, my, my, Desvidanya, my comrade. Look at that. There is an Egyptian. Huh? Spasibo? Spasibo. She, she, that's a gift from her. You know, just like today, boy, I'm telling, I, I'm, I am not kidding you. Between three and five o'clock every day, they tweak, they get bitter. And what they did to me today was they hit the self-pity button. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, <laughs> but the self-pity, <laughs> self-pity, <so>, self because <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was pitiful for a couple minutes, but I was like, no, I'm not, think about the feathers, and that's when I start hearing the voices from the other, oh, I'm getting nibbies at, again, speak to me, are you really pitiful, or are you cracking the matrix, and that's when I'm like, I want a feather, fool. <laughs> Fight. 
look at this. Kingdom of Heaven return, boy. Yeah. We're allowed to study the ancient ancient because Jesus came as a halfway mark. If he hadn't, we'd all be toast. Trust me. Look at how there's a giant red ball right there. Dead in the north. You got me stuck after sunset. Let's all make some t-shirts that say you got me stuck. On front and on back it says Nibiru's here. Tweet, tweet. Ha, ha, ha.